हेलो एवरी वन आई एम लल शर्मा फ्रॉम द वेंकटेश्वर स्कूल गुरुग्राम इन और लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल हाउ वी विल डिस्कस केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स एंड ऑल्सो वी विल सी दैट हाउ मेटल्स आर रस्टेड और हाउ ओरिजन टेक्स प्लेस इन केस ऑफ मेटल्स फर्स्ट मेटल्स नाउ रिएक्शन विद ऑक्सीजन मेटल्स जनरली रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म मेटल ऑक्साइड and it is basic in nature if we take example of magnesium plus oxygen this forms mgo it is magnesium oxide and it is basic in nature students L, uh, substances are of two types acidic or basic if they are converting blue litmus into red then they are said to be acidic in nature if red litmus turns blue then it is basic in nature so if we dissolve it into water it forms magnesium hydroxide and when we test test it then this magnesium oxide or magnesium hydroxide shows basic nature if we take reaction with water so metals with water forms metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas is liberated it is a very exothermic reaction lots of heat is evolved in this case this is sodium this is water this is sodium hydroxide nuh it is a strong base so metal when reacted with water make base and hydrogen gas is liberated and when metals are reacted with acids and bases cl hcl is hydrochloric acid and nuh is hi sodium hydroxide magnesium plus hydrochloric acid it forms salt magnesium chloride is a salt and hydrogen gas is liberated similarly in case of aluminium if it is reacted with base then salt is formed and hydrogen gas is liberated this is sodium aluminate so whenever a metal reacts with acid or a base then then salt of the corresponding metal is formed and hydrogen gas is liberated now we will discuss chemical properties of non metals non metals react with oxygen to form non metallic oxides and these non metallic oxides are acidic in nature like if we are having sulfur plus oxygen it is it makes sulfur dioxide and when this sulfur dioxide is dissolved in water it forms sulfurous acid h2so3 and that sulfurous acid indicates that oxides and hydroxides of non metals are acidic in nature and reaction with water so non metals do not generally reacts with water phosphorus is stored in water it is a highly reactive non metal and also non metals do not react with dilute acids acids may be concentrated may be dilute so in dilute acids met non metals do not react some non metals reacts with strong base like sodium hydroxide but no hydrogen gas is formed so these are some basic chemical properties that are shown by metals and non metals now we will discuss how metals affect when they are exposed to air when iron is exposed to air this is damp air oxygen plus water it forms iron oxide and some content of water means this is the formula for rust iron forms iron oxide when it is left uncovered in air this is known as corrosion of iron and this rust is having reddish brown in color and if we take copper cu plus water plus oxygen plus carbon dioxide means moist air then it forms copper hydroxide and copper carbonate so this is the case this is the rust in case of copper mixture of copper hydroxide and copper carbonate and it is green in color so when copper vessels at your homes are left exposed in air they gets a green coating that is rust of that copper and formula for that rust is copper hydroxide and copper carbonate this these uh, this is the formula and this is the reaction takes place in case of copper and iron thank you